Alright, so I got another video here on the G-Ling Lightning 120X. The previous video I just flew it on completely stock rates, stock PIDs, stock everything. And this time I have now flashed the uh, EUCs with 16.77 of the um, Jazz Maverick firmware so that enables RPM filter. So I've done that and, and if you want a guide on how to do the settings that I've done here I will put a link down in the description to that video that explains all the settings you need to do to, to and flash uh, the um, uh, firmware to the ESCs so that you can get RPM filter going and then also the settings, the base, the baseline settings that I used here uh, for, actually I use it for pretty much all the uh, the drones I fly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up on the screen here, I made some additional settings on top of those baseline settings, um, which I just use as sliders. And I think that tweaked the tune a little bit better, and actually it's flying really nice now. Um, almost no prop wash compared to before where I was getting lots of prop wash. Obviously I haven't changed any of the hardware here. Still the same props, same everything. I just flashed the RPM filter firmware, and um, I, I basically went back to base um, or stock beta flight PIDs. I got rid of the, the factory PIDs, and then I adjusted the sliders as you can see here. Um, that's it. And those are my settings. If you want to duplicate that, just follow the RPM filter guide video down in the description and then put in the settings here on the, on the screen and you should be able to get similar results. So all I've got on here now is RPM filter with Mostly default PIDs. I think I would have put up a picture of my sliders here. It's a little windy right now. And yeah, the prop wash is better than before with out RPM filter, especially with all this wind. Still getting a lot of lines in the video. I think it's the way the, the VTX antenna is arranged. It's too close to where the power is, I think. Really, really smooth, much better than before. I thought perhaps frame being kind of flexible was the cause of all that prop wash, but um, just adjusting the tune and turning on RPM filter does seem to get rid of a lot of that prop wash. You can see it's a lot smoother, even in this wind. Yeah, much, much better. You guys can look at the previous video and tell me what you guys think. And the props sound a lot better too. I'm thinking this might, this whole setup might even be more of a freestyle machine with three bladed props like the new uh, 3 by one5 HQ props. I might try that next. Hear the wind there affecting the tune a little bit there as I fly on by. It's not bad. Let's try some hard turns in front of me here so you can hear that sound. Yeah, way better. Much, much nicer than before. Pretty 
pretty good flight time on this 450 tattoo. Much more I could say about this. It's a pretty good price still. I think it's like a hundred, a little over a hundred dollars. And I wouldn't be too worried about the frame. I thought maybe it was going to be a problem because it's so flexible, but it doesn't seem to be affecting the tune now that I have RPM filter turned on. So that those videos will be down in the description on how to enable it. You just have to flash. I think I have 1677 of the Jazz Maverick firmware on here. There might be a newer version out. I think RC2 of 16.8 is probably up by now. So I'm gonna wait till that's finalized before I start using it. Oh, and this is 24 kilohertz. It's GH30, 16.77, 24 kilohertz here, not 48 kilohertz. And wow, this flight time is, I forgot how long it was. 10.8 volts, 4.4. For four minutes and 45 seconds. It's a five minute flight time. It's pretty sick. Jeez, it's still going. And this wind is really picking up here. Let's see here. There we go. Now oh, we got a little battery warning. Five and a half minutes. We gotta stop it here. Let me know what you guys think.